Hi there, uh, today we're going to go over a couple of the main differences between our three basic tanks. You have a uh, top fill or a top coil tank, a bottom fill or a bottom coil tank, and then a uh, cartomizer tank. Now some of these might look pretty similar and uh, some are going to have different variations within these categories, but we're just going to go over some of the main differences between them and uh, some of the pros and cons. So let's go ahead and start off with the top coil atomizer. Um, this specific tank that we have right here is called the iClear 16. It's very similar to uh, the Stardust or the CE4 Plus, just has a, a dual wicking system. So the top coil atomizers are called a top fill because you uh, just unscrew the top on them and you're going to be able to put the juice straight down here. Some people find this to be a lot more convenient. Uh, you know, you just take the tip off and you're going to be ready to go. And so the main thing that you need to avoid with uh, the top fills is most of them don't have a little rubber seal on the top of the atomizer so when you're filling them you're actually going to want to kind of tip them off to the side and then fill up around them and uh, that's going to be how you fill a top fill atomizer pretty self-explanatory luckily now the next one that we have is going to be a uh, bottom coil atomizer and this specific model is a Kanger EVOD it's uh, going to fill up from the bottom so and when filling these you are going to want to turn them upside down and then you're going to want to take the uh, little bottom piece off. And these do have little rubber seals on them to prevent any leaking issues that you may have. Uh, as a generality, this tank is one solid piece, so it's pretty convenient, as you can see right there. If uh, you pour juice down the center console, it will go straight through, so it's just a great way to waste juice. But uh, this is going to be your atomizer right here on the bottom. And it's pretty easy just to take off. You're just going to unscrew it like so, and then this is going to be your main piece. And so the maintenance on this is very minimal. But uh, you know you do have to flip it upside down, and you are going to have to be a little more careful when filling this one as opposed to the top fill. And then we have a cartomizer tank, which is going to be a little bit different than both of these. Instead of having the atomizer on top or on the bottom, it actually has the atomizer inside of this little cartridge tube, henceforth cartomizer. It's essentially short for uh, atomizer within a cartridge. Fancy terminology. This specifically is a locking DCT cardo, which has a locking mechanism right here on the bottom, which I just unscrewed. And then you're just going to pull this little silver tube out, and this is going to be your atomizer. Now the wicking and the coils are inside of this little silver tube, and when filling this guy, you're just going to uh, kind of pull it down until there's just a little bit of a gap right there, and you're going to fill up juice around it. And as it's getting fuller, you're just going to slowly start correcting and pushing the tube up until you're all the way ready. Now, some of the differences in vapes. So the top coil atomizer, the vape in itself, is going to be a, a, a little bit warmer. Since the atomizer is closer to your lips, it's going to produce a lot warmer vape. Also, um, since the juice needs to be absorbed through uh, the wicking systems, you might get dry spots every once in a while. So you might get some hits off of it that are going to be a little bit more flavorful, and some that uh, might not be. So that's going to be one of the pros and the cons about this one. And uh, changing out the atomizer in this guy, you are going to need to unscrew this entire console right here, which some people find to be a little bit tedious. Um, you will need to empty out your tank completely, otherwise you're going to spill juice everywhere. But uh, that's essentially going to be it. With uh, the bottom coil atomizer, you're going to get a lot cooler of a vape. It's going to be a lot more consistent since the atomizer is at the bottom. It uh, takes a little bit for the vape to get up, until your, up into your mouth. Um, also, one of the cons about this guy is that if you aren't careful, you can uh, not screw this on tightly or the atomizer might come undone. And juice is going to uh, get into this mouthpiece and when you inhale you might experience gurgling or symptoms like that. Luckily it is pretty easy to fix, you're just going to want to tighten your atomizer and make sure that all of the components are dry. Then with the cartomizer. Cartomizers, they are a little bit trickier to put together and you are going to want to prime them whenever you get a new one but overall, you're going to get a lot more flavor out of this. Since you're burning the liquid just right here, it doesn't have to travel too terribly far until it reaches your mouth. And so you're going to be getting a lot more of that flavor. Whereas with a top coil or a bottom coil atomizer, it does have to travel through a little bit of tubing, and so it's going to permeate the tank. You aren't going to be able to get all of the richness of the flavor. So thank you. This has been a very brief tutorial on uh, top coil, bottom coils, and cartomizer tanks. Hope to see you next time.